21 wounded veterans are receiving a very warm welcome here in Fort Myers. Who I am is not important. Who you are is most important to me as an American citizen. I'm grateful for your service. I'm sorry for your sacrifice, but I appreciate you individually, and I love you for what you have done. Thank you very much. These 21 soldiers are being treated for various injuries in Fort Gordon, but right now they're enjoying the spotlight in Fort Myers. Whether or not you like the war, that's your business, but the troops, you got to support. We need to show them that we appreciate what they've done. For Cliff Naylor, or Uncle Cliff as he's called by the vets, this event was something that he's been looking forward to for a long time. In 1969, when I come back from Vietnam, it was done for me. Nearly 40 years later, he's giving back the honor and appreciation that he once received to 21 others serving the country. Some of them came back from Afghanistan, some from Iraq, and these people have been so excited about coming down here, and I believe our host in the city is just as excited as our soldiers are. The owner of Hampton Inn and Suites on Colonial is helping out by providing free lodging for the special guests. This is my way of giving back to people that actually kind of fought for the freedom and kind of gave me the privilege of what I'm doing today. It's awesome, because I never got this treatment. It helps you appreciate what we have over here versus uh, well, other countries have. One soldier even shared with us a souvenir from overseas. And as for their injuries, one specialist had a positive message to share. It's just a setback. It's just a bump in the road. It's not, it's not life ending. Trust me. The veterans will be enjoying their weekend around town, and on Monday, they'll each be receiving their own key to the city, and we'll be there to cover that event. Reporting for the News Press in Fort Myers, I'm Christine Lee.